So I found the worst rated game of all time. I was on Metacritic and I saw a game called Road Rage and I started reading the reviews and I realized that this game was horrible. Everybody hated this game and I knew I had to play it. So I went to Steam, I searched up Road Rage and I saw that the game was 99 cents. They asked me for my birthday too, I don't know why they did that. I noticed that the game was on sale, it was a 90% off discount, probably because this game sucks, it was only 99 cents. So I added it to my cart and they asked me if I wanted to purchase it for myself or purchase it as a gift. Why would I gift this game? Game to anybody. I clicked all the terms and conditions, I waited for the game to download, and it was ready. I was about to play the worst rated game ever. Five years ago, right when the game loaded the up, it was a loud loading screen. I, I skipped through all that. Who cares about that? And then what what is this? My character, dude, he looks sweet. He looks like he's ready to play. He's got a bat in his hand. Okay, so my mission was to take down a bunch of different people. I didn't really know what to do in this game. I just started driving, and then I made one of the coolest saves ever. I almost ran into that lamppost, but I saved my life. I was catching up to these people. I was ready to eliminate them, but I wasn't sure how to do that. As I got closer to them, I clicked a button on my keyboard, and I knocked them out. What the? I knocked out another dude, and then it said mission passed? What? Now, I had no idea what I was doing. I was clicking random buttons, so I went to go check the controls to make sure everything was good, and I realized that you have to accelerate with WASD, but to hit people, you have to use the arrow keys. So you have to have two hands on the keyboard. But all of a sudden, I was getting a call. I don't know why I was getting a call. Seven runs are due and the clock is ticking. I have no idea who these people are. Why are they talking to me? Basically, this dude was telling this girl to go do something, but she was saying she was tired. And my character wanted to be the hero and said, hey, don't worry about it, girl. I'll do it for you. Oh, my gosh. So here I was trying to get used to the controls while having ten fingers on one keyboard. And we made it. We made it to the mission. Here I was, I was ready to save the day for this girl. By the end of the mission, I realized that this was really easy. I was bouncing into walls and stuff and nothing happened. So I decided to drive straight into the back of a car to see if I could die in this game. Once I passed the mission, I got $5,000 and then I was getting another call. Here you go, boss. I quickly realized that all this dialogue, all these people talking, it was so annoying. So I skipped through all of it and I never listened to it again. I noticed that there were some stores on the road. There was a store called Hardly Burgers. What? As I was leaving the stores, I noticed there was a woman trying to get into a car. So I hit her upside the head and taught her a lesson. I saw another girl walking, so I taught her some gymnastics. And we were on our way, ready to complete this next mission. As I was trying to find where I was going, I illegally entered a different city. This city was called Chitaly. So I entered Chitaly and realized that I had five stars of cops on me. I thought I lost the cops, but there was one coming towards me and I tried it. I quickly realized that if I wanted to figure out if this game was actually bad, I had to complete some of the story missions to see the story of this game. So I went to the next mission and I was ready. In this one, all I had to do was make it to the end before the other players. So I started swinging at people immediately and then what the... After dropping down from Satan's ball sack, I knew I had to win this race, so I started swinging for my life, hoping to knock out everybody next to me. Somehow, I got knocked out right here, I don't even- And when I respawned, I was clicking a bunch of random buttons on my keyboard, and I did a weird turn, I don't know how I did that. I was right next to the finish line, people were catching up to me, was I gonna make it? Oh, somebody beat me, but then I realized, there was five laps. I ended up getting a double kill by swinging my bat, and then I realized something. I learned how to wheelie. Because of this, I wasn't paying attention and I ended up dying twice. As I was driving, I hit somebody, but their car bumped into me and I... And I can't even explain to you what happened here. I... What? What? Now this was the final lap and somebody passed me and was staring at me and crashed into a car. And because they did that, I coasted into first place and I unlocked a ton of new things. Also, look at that character right there. Right when that race ended, I got another call. But when I clicked the main menu, I realized that I had access to a clubhouse. And in this clubhouse, I could unlock many different weapons, like combat chains, shovels, axes. And I went ahead and purchased a crowbar for $1,000. As I was looking through these weapons, I noticed you could purchase a phone stick. Like literally a phone on a selfie stick. That could be your weapon? I went through the drivers that you could unlock and a bunch of them just looked normal, but I found one that I really wanted. It was an old man. I wanna see him fall off the bike. I equipped the new crowbar and I started to swing it and I realized my character looks so weird. But I wanted to unlock the phone stick as my weapon, so I went to the next mission hoping to unlock the phone stick. It told me that I needed to have 3 seconds of airtime, 5 near misses, and 7 seconds of wheeling. So I tried to go off these ramps to get some airtime, 
it wasn't super successful. I then said, who cares about the airtime? Let's try to go for the near misses. So I need to drive by cars, but barely miss them. I got one right there. I ended up getting another one, but the time was ticking. I had less than eight seconds left and I was trying to do my wheelie, but I forgot how to wheelie. So I went to the main menu. I went to the controls and I looked for how I could wheelie and they didn't even show it. They don't even tell you how to wheelie and that's why I failed this mission. After I failed the mission, I got another call. I was expecting them to be like, hey, why'd you fail the mission? But it's the same thing. They're telling me to do the mission again. So here I was, I had a new game plan. I really wanted to unlock those cool characters and those cool weapons. So I started off by wheeling. I figured out how to wheelie and I successfully completed my airtime right away. All I had to do was miss five cars and I was gonna complete this challenge. And boom, I completed the mission and I got a ton of stuff. But I realized I about hit this tree. If I click resume, right after the mission was over, I was getting another call. After I hung up on that dude, I got hit. Somebody hit my car. So I went back to see who it was that hit me. Maybe it was like my ex-girlfriend or something, but I looked and nobody was in the car. I also figured out like a hack. If you somehow click the boost button right when you click the wheelie button, you get unlimited boost. I don't know how that works or why that works, but it's gonna come in handy later. I went to the new mission and it said that I needed to assassinate some haters. I felt like if I completed this mission, I would unlock that old man character and this was gonna be awesome. So all I had to do was assassinate three targets and I saw one guy and I was swinging at him, but somehow I didn't get him. I caught back up with him and I kept swinging, kept swinging and I finally got him. And then the second guy, this was the last guy I had to get. I ended up chasing after him, swinging my freaking crowbar over and over until I finally killed him. I unlocked 5,000 cash, I got a new mission, and I got a new weapon. Guess what happened after the mission? I got another freaking call, but this time it was from a girl. She said that she bet all her money on me winning a race, and if I won this race, I would get all the money. So I knew if I completed this race, I would have a ton of money, and I'd be able to buy anything I wanted. So I started off the race by using my new found exploit where I could wheelie and use a boost at the same time, and it didn't end up working because I still suck at driving. And I don't even know what happened there. But with my new wheelie boost glitch, I knew I could win the race and I ended up winning the race. I got $6,000, that girl was so broke, I unlocked a new town and a bunch of other stuff. I also went to the weapons and I found a hockey stick for $1,000. I went to look through the characters and see if I had the old guy unlocked and I didn't. But then I realized I could customize my motorcycle. I knew at that moment I had to make the ugliest motorcycle ever. Now with my super ugly poop mobile, I was riding around and then I randomly clicked a button. I didn't know this world was that big, but then I saw that you could play multiplayer. So I went and clicked on quick online game and it said that there was no lobbies found. I started to explore that other town that I unlocked called Chitaly and I saw that they had like Christmas decorations hung up and stuff and I wanted to give a warm welcome to all these people of this new town so I started beating the f and somehow when I was driving I glitched into a spot where you can't even get in. I don't know how I did this. I tried to do it again over and over but it was not successful. I think I just got super lucky. After playing for a while, I realized if you really want a game that's kind of like GTA, if GTA had like a very stupid kid, get this game. It's only 99 cents. You'll probably hate your life after you play this. Excuse me?